kiddos. In lesson 32, we have a super simple um, learning target. We are going to evaluate expressions, meaning we're just going to solve expressions. Okay, cool. I can handle that. So here we're looking at one half times three fifths times five thirds. If we just had two expressions, we just very simply multiply the upstairs and the downstairs. But now we have three and we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to have a supersized multiplication expression upstairs. We have one times three times five, okay? And that's going to be over two times five times three. Two times five times three. We can handle that. One times three, now let's get to our evaluate portion. One times three is three, no biggie. Three times five is 15, okay? Downstairs, two times five is 10. 10 times three is 30. Wow, big whoop. Now we have 15 over three. Let's <coughs> simplify that. 15 and 30 have a factor in common. They can both be divided by 15. If I'm going to divide the upstairs by 15, I have to divide the downstairs, the denominator by 15. Otherwise, they get insanely jealous of one another. So 15 divided by 15, one. 30 divided by 15, two. Wow, final answer. Evaluate. That's what we just did. Let's evaluate uh, one more time over here for F. And since it's such a gloriously sunny day, I'm going to get, let you guys off the hook with a pretty short video. Um, let's look at this expression in words and then let's evaluate it. Okay, so we have three times as much as the quotient of 2.4 and uh, six tenths. So let's write out the expression first and then we will evaluate it. Three times, you guys know three times looks like that, three multiplied by something, um, as much uh, um, as the quotient of 2.4 and 0.6. The quotient of, quotient is the answer to a division problem. So 2.4 divided by 0.6 and we're going to multiply that by three. We have three times here, as much as the quotient of 2.4 and 0.6. Cool, so let's start evaluating this. We need to evaluate what's inside the parentheses first. So we can do this in a few different ways. 2.4 divided by 0.6. This is um, 24 tenths. I'll write this in unit form. Divided by six tenths. Okay, we can think about this a few different ways. I'll set, I'll set up a, a few different lines of thinking here. So we can just think about that in unit form and then solve in unit form. Or we can use, actually, we can rewrite 2.4 divided by 6 as a fraction. We can multiply 2.4 by uh, 0.6. <clears throat> we can multiply it by a fancy version of 1. 10 over 10, you guys know we worked on this last week, is a fancy version of 1. When we multiply 2.4 by 10, the digits shift one place value to the left, and we get 24. When we multiply 6 tenths by 10, the digit shifts one place value to the left, and we get 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So that's one way we can do that. Um, we can continue evaluating our expression. So 2.4 divided by 0.6 is 4. And now we need to find 3 times 4. 3 times 4? 12. Wow. Okay, cool. So this is what we're going to be working on Monday. I want you guys to know that on our celebration of learning later this week, we're going to be looking at a table where we're going to, actually it's not going to look like that. It's a table that looks very similar to what we did in our mid-module celebration of learning. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> we are going to have a table where sometimes there's an expression, like 3 times 2.4 in parentheses divided by 0.6. And then you're going to have to write the words. You'll have to fill in the blanks. Or sometimes 
will have the words, such as we do here, three times as much as the quotient of 2.4 and 6, and then you'll have to fill in the expression. And then I also believe that you'll have to evaluate as well. So we worked on this, um, evaluate. <laughs> we worked on this in our mid-module celebration of learning. You guys are going to see it again. Um, but of course our expressions are going to be reflecting <clears throat> the skills that we've been working on, this division of um, decimals. Make sure if you're doing long division, you use this trick. We shift numbers out of decimal land and into whole number land because as you know, it's just much easier to work with whole numbers. Um, cool, so I'm going to turn this over to our guest teachers. They're going to evaluate some expressions and Monday's lesson is going to be uh, pretty great. We're just going to continue practicing uh, the evaluation of expressions. And keep in mind, these are not, I mean, these are not easy expressions. These are pretty complicated expressions. But you guys are up for it, and you're brilliant, and have fun. So, circle the expression. So, when we see expression, we know it's only going to be one of these four problems. Equivalent to the difference, so difference means subtraction, between 7 and 4. So, that's 7 minus 4 divided by a fifth, so one fifth. So we have to see which one is equal to seven minus four divided by one fifth. So we do this through the process of elimination. It's not this one because we know difference means subtraction, so it's not this one because this has addition. So seven plus four divided by one fifth is not right. 7 minus 4 over 1 fifth is not right either because we're looking for the expression equivalent to the difference between 7 and 4. So this is a fraction, not an expression. So this one doesn't work either. So then this one is, in parentheses, 7 minus 4 divided by 1 fifth, which I think that that works because it's the difference, so 7 minus 4, divided by 1 fifth, and the only thing is just putting the 7 and the 4 in parentheses, and we know that parentheses don't change anything, so this expression is equivalent to the difference between 7 and 4, divided by a fifth. Yay! That was fun, okay. Okay, so we are going to evaluate the following expressions. So, 11 minus 6 is 5. Oh, come on, wait. Work pen. Oh, whoopsies. Okay, so 11 minus 6 is 5. And then 5 divided by... 1 6 is equal to 5 times 6, which is equal to 30. So we can say that this is equal to 30. 